This is a quick introduction and a demonstration of how we can perform body post estimation in real time using pre trained uh, TensorFlow models and uh, Spring Cloud Data Flow pipelines. The post estimation is a generic task in computer vision that aims to detect uh, different body parts and the special relationship between those parts. The recent advancement in deep learning have uh, significantly improved the uh, accuracy and performance of those models make them might give possible to run such estimation in real time. Perhaps the most influential paper from the recent years is the real-time multi-person post estimation and the related implementation in Coffee 2 library that performs uh, uh, implements these deep layer, layer models uh, have gained a lot of popularity. The, there are a couple of TensorFlow uh, porting of this uh, uh, implementation. The most uh, uh, popular one appears to be the TF pose estimation. And indeed, our Spring Cloud Dataflow processor benefits from this. It, it is capable to use one of the pre trained models. Actually, you can use this project to train your own models or use some of the pre trained ones. I'm, um, I, I have uploaded two um, pre trained models uh, to be easy to start with as well. And uh, once you have uh, that model, pre-trained model, loaded into the post estimator or Spring Cloud Flow processor, the later can consume images, a sequence of images, uh, and uh, produces uh, augmented uh, information like JSON representation of the body uh, uh, positions uh, found on the input images in a JSON format that looks like this. Uh, additionally, if you specify that the, uh, to, to, and you want to use the augmented mode, the post estimator would actually draw this meta information, the input images, and to show it on the output as well. So, without further ado, let's uh, uh, go and start demonstrating how this looks like. For the demonstration, we're going to use a Spring Cloud Flow server in the local mode. The only additional, uh, now we're going to inject one additional. Uh, uh, Maven, uh, <coughs> Maven repository, particularly this one, this is the test lib snapshot local from the Spring uh, I.O., which contains the experimental set of uh, uh, Spring Cloud Dataflow application starters, computer vision one, and uh, we'd be interested to, to use the webcam, uh, webcam source uh, application uh, starter, which would allow us to stream input video from the webcams as a sequence of images, as well as the uh, image viewer, which would, uh, in turn is sync, which would allow us to uh, play sequence of images as a video. So this is pretty handy to, to visualize the, the real-time aspect of this process. Let's start the server first. This would take a minute to set up. Why? console, we can start creating the stream. Our first uh, uh, stream would uh, do something very very straightforward, would uh, monitor input directory for uh, image files being dropped there, pass the Im those images to a uh, uh, post estimator, put the post estimator processor that has been initialized with pre-trained as a flow model, and the output would be sent to the image viewer for visualization. Okay, we're going to have the file as an input that would listen to a certain directory. Uh, this is some uh, input. Then we would pass the output to the post estimator mode header. By default, the mode is payload. That means that the post estimator will create a JSON representation, a JSON message that uh, has the information about the body parts being detected and it speed out the message payload, the, this JSON message. But if we specify the header mode, uh, then the output would actually, uh, and then we can model select the, one of the pre trained models in our case. We pick the most accurate and slower one. Link address. And the output of this would be sent to the image viewer. Let's try this new pipeline. Let's call this file 
pose pipeline uh, pose and deploy it. This may take a minute or two. Okay, that's uh, if you uh, uh, recall, we actually ex expect uh, the, this pipeline expects images into this temp pose input folder. So let's uh, send something pose input folder, some images in this folder. Um, start with something personal. Okay, uh, my kids, or Maxim and Diana, and my nephew are in here. So this is dropped there. It is going to be processed for a couple of seconds, so and uh, the result would look like this. We can try something different. Um, if you remember recently uh, Pivotal became IPO so this is the opening session exciting moment for us. Let's see how the algorithm would be able to estimate the pose of the excited people on this picture. The process uh, takes some time a couple of seconds to get but uh, it, it provides quite accurate representation and the poses of the people involved uh, next, let's try to do something like more dynamic, more real time. So while this is very, very, still very useful if you want to have more bulk processing and batch processing of input files. So imagine you can have some inputs and you want to process the JSON messages and store it and to maintain data in some some stores. This would be a very good uh, approach to deal with it. But if you need to do something more real time, like uh, uh, processing a real video, then you would be interested to do. Uh, different implement a different pipeline using slightly uh, less accurate but much faster model pre-trained model uh, <coughs> which comes uh, pre-bundled with the post process we don't have to specify it so we're going to use the webcam as an input uh, provide some resolution for the camera also it is important to, to define the capture interval I would say uh, one second which is 100 millise uh, 1000 milliseconds seems good enough again post estimation mode again header so that we are going to this would ensure that we produce an image in our output and send this to the image viewer okay as I mentioned by default, the faster more is, is, is pre-configured the post estimator. We don't have to specify it explicitly in this case. Let's call this webcam pose and deploy it. So this would uh, show, show you how you can do near real time processing of images and, and, and vis even visualizing those and here we are so hello there this is the near real-time processing and uh, this concludes this demonstration as well